Good morning, good afternoon, good grasshoppers. What happened here? Whoops. Never mind. Aha. That's fascinating. I forgot that I had that option. And I do. So let's see if we're going to bring this up just a little bit. Just so the top of the car isn't being cut off. <laughs> Very silly car for the most part. Alright, so. Try this again. I'm going to refresh the speech chat. Setting default apps. Checking our sound. One more time, we're back up with bit rate, bit rate and everything. Reset our internet. Reset Streamlabs. Hoping that the sound is on. I may do a check. Of the sound. And if it's not working. All right, sound does seem to be working, at least over there, but it's very, very low. That's not good. But at least the microphone sound is on. I'm going to crank up the volume, turned off the filters. Checking, checking, checking. Now, why is my microphone on full time? That is the question. Why is this happening? Let's see if I turn off the headphones for a moment. It seems my microphone seems to be reflecting the desktop audio, which is not good. Reload. This is no good. Microphone reflecting the audio, so it sounds like you should probably be hearing an echo. Need to check the YouTube channel. I don't know. I did go in and I checked my audio drivers. I'm going to quit the G Hub. For now, so far everything is excellent on the Twitch Inspector, so I'm hoping that that is correct. Properties. Headphones, U4 Air, let's check our Windows settings again, Sound Mixer, Sound Output, Windows Control V, that's a good way to get there from here. Input Microphone, got it. sound devices. Checking, checking, checking. Alright, well, we're going to have to check it after this game, because we do want to get some chess in. And we do want to check what's going on. Good morning, Nico. We're back. Oh no, indeed. Check for driver updates. Fine.
left channel, right channel, yada yada yada. Home theater of sounds. All right. Well, at least it's showing a, an image, right? Is it showing an image at least? Before it was a green screen according to... Arsenal Pen Ritchie. Earlier in the week we had a raid by Mayor Pen. All right, we did take it off of starting the uh, system administrator. We're going to challenge our opponent in this manner. And we're going to try to get rid of all of our wing nuts. interesting I'm pretending as though this is not happening to me <coughs> hmm all right I promised myself that I was going to bother this night should this actually happen and here we are we're in that situation we're in that sneaky sneaky situation mm -hmm. so he has one piece hanging Two pieces hanging. You've seen this opening before? Mm hmm. Tis a trick, I say. Yes, yes. We're sacking upon. We're bothering our opponent. I'm not sure where you think you're going, but just in case you have an idea. Night takes, night takes. Try to keep you out with other small threats involved. Yes. It is part of the plan. Yes, we have no bananas. All right, he's forcing the issue. For what it's worth, Nico has the better of me.
and he's threatening mate and that. You cats, folks. He's definitely trying to get the better of me. So, how are we going to do it? How are we going to get the better of him? First things first. I do want to displace my opponent's pieces. We're no longer down a pawn. We have this, that, and the other thing. What could he possibly be threatening? <coughs> we'll know in a moment. Oh no, Nico. Oh no, the pawn had to go first, buddy. The pawn had to go first. And then at least I think you have a defense. That was very, very ugly. God, was that ugly. So queen c7 wasn't so bad. White is still only a little better. Bishop g4 was hasty. Queen to b4 was more to the point. Before the queen can go to e5, perhaps. Was it better to take on c4 and then play? That's another interesting story here. C takes b5, d takes c4. No, queen to b4 was the right theme for the right time. Awkward. I was very lucky to survive, Nico. Very lucky to survive. Alright, so why is the microphone picking up the audio sounds? That is the other question. Now my microphone is picking up my desktop sounds. I don't know how this sounds. Okay, well at least the microphone is working. That much is true. At least the microphone is actually working. For what it's worth, the microphone is actually working. The sound and audio. Pillsbury. So now I've never done that well against Pillsbury. So we're going to throw in one more H4 since we can get these in. I've always struggled against Pillsbury. I have one very important concept to play here. We're gonna see how well it goes. Do I need to do I need to guard that pawn? Or do I need to keep threatening to play C4? D4, yes, I need to three kept keep threatening to play D4. Playing this just as we would, regardless of anything else. No, you weren't. Nice game. It was very entertaining, to say the least. God help us, right? So if I castle, I'm giving away a pawn, or am I? Hmm. I think I just have to keep going with my standard feature here. Kingslayer Sloan. As though we're playing a different opener. John, we doing a podcast today. What day is today? Thursday? Yes, let's try to squeeze one in. Just when I thought that I was going to have an option at something else. I could be wrong.
to be honest I'm always struggling against my opponent so therefore this is no different got to play completely unsoundly against Pillsbury have I ever won against Pillsbury I win one out of every nine two out of every nine Pillsbury loves beating up on Alakine. There's no doubt about it. Mm-hmm. Indeed. He's calling my bluff. I'm yet to win against Pillsbury. Yeah. He's too he's too strong. Sixteen zero for now. I'm just so much in trouble. I'm in so much trouble against him routinely and often. Ron Hay shows us how to do it. What you have to do ideally is study Ron's games against Pillsbury if you'd like to <laughs> avoid getting completely toasted. Did I have to castle? I didn't have a choice there at all. At least I got my king safe. This is a rarity. It is a true and unexpected rarity. Said, no castling games are the best. Well, I am desperate to get some form of action against him. Said, long castling also good, but not as fun. And now, how do we keep him at bay in any way? Takes, takes, takes. Knight a4 is my original thought, but I'm very, very concerned that I'm missing a, out on some attackers here. On queen takes e4, h4, he's attacking too many of our units. Bishop takes c6, b takes c6, we're just going to hang on for dear life. How about that? and hope. We're going to hit him and hope. All right, that I can live with. The fact that he's just threatening my queen is okay because I don't usually have much of a choice here. Yeah, and my king is exposed. My king is so exposed. I'm just going to pretend as though this isn't happening. He takes with check, yes. Mm-hmm. 
I don't have a choice. Perhaps we had a choice. Perhaps we didn't. And now for something completely different. I'm still trying. Where are you headed? Queen to F4? I can't believe it, ladies and gentlemen. We got him in his time trouble. Wow. With the Kalas opening, of all things. With the Kalas. H4 on the first move, ladies and gentlemen. Crazy that we got him with that. Everything's here. So the Kalas opening... H4. We are now up to 62% at 178. We need two more H4s. Basically, I'm playing it as black like Magnus Carlsen would. I do have to check my audio to figure out whether or not the sound is picking up the squeaking of my chair. I uh, told my family we need a new chair for uh, the holiday. We're going to go for a campaign for a new chair. Nemo is going for a new car. Cars go. I can go for a new chair. Much more affordable. Much more realistic. I don't think I have... Uh, I cannot believe it, ladies and gentlemen, that I nicked Pillsbury. Is that crazy? I upped my statistics massively. So 7 out of 27. I don't even know how to divide that one. I'm in 1 and 4 now. Is that right? Or 1 and 5? I think it's more like 1 and 5. I win 1 and 5 because of that. Previously it was like 1 and 9. Uh, 2 and 9. Someone tell me if that math is correct. Am I doing it right? For a total of 34 games, I win 7. So I guess it's 1 in 5. Yes. That is correct. Previously it was 2 in 27 for a total of 29 games. And out of 30 games, I would win two, which is less than uh, less than 10 percent. So it was about one and one and nine. Yes, I think my previous math was correct. We check out Big Ben versus Branko Kolar. So Kingslayer Sloan in the house. Good morning, Roken. We have our French Bishop chess cast with the French Bishop chess cast connections and all of these links. The French Bishop connections. I can't believe I played such a terrible game against uh, Pillsbury and, and managed to win. I'm almost jealous of myself. 
All right, so against d4, knight f3. I feel like I have to continue with the normal continuation. Wait for the bishop to move. We tag the bishop. We go for getting rid of the bishop. Can we go for more here? Lock down on the center. Try to embarrass this bishop. But sacking a pawn. Is that possible? Yeah, let's just play normal chess. Chess normal. So now with his rook on d1, can we go for a queenside pawn storm? Yes. We're just going to play that way. Part of a plan. Expansion on the queen side. We're the ones attacking. He's the one defending. Everyone should enjoy this most. Yes, yes. You have no white squared bishop. By the way, uh, now I'm tempted to play queen takes d5. Queen takes d5, b takes c4, knight takes d4. b takes c3, b takes c3. Queen takes d5, my pawn structure is a little bit inadequate. All right, let's just keep his pawn fixed as a weakness. If he's going to give me an open file for my rook, that is fine. And we're going to challenge you. Where are you really going, sir? Who do you think you are? Running around raising stars. So he's maneuvering his way to what? So let's just go for those weaknesses. Now that the d5 pawn is no longer weak. What do we have? <sighs> How do we keep up the attack and the defense at the same time? Takes, takes, takes. Oh no! Is this true? Have we lost it? We have lost it. Franco Kolar got me. Let's go back in time. Let's see how that minority attack was working out for black. I mean, it is in favor of black here. So let's just find out what we are missing. White usually plays e4 here, but e3 is the most popular move by transposition. Primarily by transposition, but black does even better against e4. So bishop to b7 is the standard move. Bishop e7 continues. Castles for black. Bishop d3, bishop a6. We also still have bishop to b7, and we're fighting for the e4 square. Queen to e2 is played. Equal chances for both sides. C takes d4 first. Hmm. Seems committal. 
Gelfer and Grandmaster Pritchett before he was a Grandmaster. Craig Pritchett. So I'm slightly better in this position. The opening book is of no more consequence. And I was right to think that I am doing rather interestingly. Rook a3, rook takes a3, queen takes a3, queen to d7 is slightly better for white. And I do just need to play knight e7. I should have announced that out loud. I considered that, but I thought it too passive. I thought I could actually continue in Magnus Carlsen form against like a Nond here, hoping for a passed pot. <laughs> My hopes were not realized here, as I am now down a pizza. Just down a pizza. So I met Fom. Women's Grandmaster, International Master Farm at the World Open the year before last. I did a broadcast. I may have actually, she appeared on stream. She came with another group of uh, in, uh, Vietnamese players. And they, hang, they hung out with Grandmaster Min, who was then an IM. So Farm Lao Latao Nguyen Farm. The town win. Farm of the winds. Of the family win. So far, so good. See how Kingslayer Sloan looks in the chat. I feel like he's showing his Kingslayer Sloan, and in my Google Speech Chat members attendance window, Google uh, Kingslayer Sloan is shown with his streamer name in parentheses. So I'm actually waiting for another streamer to appear in the stream and to see if they all show up. With their streamer names in parentheses. Or is this Kingslayer Sloan's Google name? Let's give him a quick shout out since we can. If you're not yet following Kingslayer Sloan, he usually streams around this time of the morning. If he's not already streaming and I just don't know about it. Just checking. Did I get a full point by this round because of that loss? No. The round is just going on. Well, one second here. Reload to see who's what and what what's. Ron Hay versus Pillsbury. Ron Hay once again surviving Pillsbury as though it's nothing. I'm very happy that Pillsbury didn't take the draw. That's all I can say in my game. Congrats to Ron Hay for uh, once again handling Pillsbury very, very well. So I've disabled all of the extensions that are possible. I've done everything in my power to make sure that my microphone is working. I guess we're going to find out in just a moment if it is. We are very thankful to Chess Informant. For their partial contribution to the stream. Uh oh. Let's just move this up so that we can see the board properly. Big Ben, can I really push the envelope with H4? 
No, let's not do that again. We need two H4s though before the stream is up. So against Big Ben, I guess we've played this before. He's not yet played the main main line. Oh, now he's playing the main line. This is the way it's supposed to go. And I'm going to just continue with the same exact thing. Uh, check. I'm going to grab my space advantage. And pretend as though weakening his king side is the bomb. He's supposed to play knight to g5, by the way, in that position. Indeed, he's supposed to play knight to g5. Whoa, Dudovich. See if we can get some activity here on him. Just a little bit of activity. We know what he's up to. And I do want all of his stuff to be weakened. And I'm very serious about that. All of his stuff to be weakened. So bishop takes, knight takes... Well, I think he's actually uh, allowing me a bit more counterplay than I think he realized. Just need to keep him at bay. Is giving back a pawn? Or is he? No, huh? Fine. He's not indeed giving back a pawn per se. Activity. We have five active pieces and he has, well, let's just say less. I'm not going to try to count which ones are actually active and which ones are not. So knight takes, well, we're just going to play it as we see it. Knight takes, queen takes, bishop takes, I mean we are obviously getting into some trouble here, takes takes. Bummer. Interesting. He didn't take that opportunity to capture us. So therefore, we should still continue with a double piece sacrifice 
we do have to play a check. Um, this is not going to do. One more time, the Dutch. A lot of fun, usually for both sides. I'm curious as to how many of our games are all Dutches. So we did play a Dutch the other day. I'm very consistent with my Scandinavian C4 F5. And I lost with the Oh my god, I lost with the Black Mardemer Gambit. How did that happen? Raven Stewart's birthday. Got me in the last Staunton Gambit. How was that? We actually played this whole thing before. And of course, when he plays dubiously, Isabel Choco's birthday. Wow. We're going to look at that again. Branko Kolar. How do I do against him? I win one out of every three games, give or take. Less than one out of three every three games. Ron Hay, where are you? This is going to be a lot harder of math as we've played 200 and less than 220 games, we played 214 games. And he is plus 20. Soon 500 games. 500 games. <laughs> I would hope so, Ron. I would absolutely hope so, Ron. Ladies and gentlemen, the presence of Pegasus. Oh no, Pi A73, where are you? Paul 73. I, I don't know why I pronounce it like uh, Spanish paella. I do not consider him at all a fish. Oh no, from Sweden. Paul, it probably is Paul from Sweden. I imagine that his name is Paul L.E. I'm going to look at his last so many games. He played the other day in our, uh, in our tournament uh, at school. Under 2000 Blitz Arena, Super Blitz Arena, he plays very, very frequently. Acela de Armas is Perez's birthday. Is that the one? <coughs> well, I didn't get to do that one, actually. The Taco Tuesday Training Arena. I managed to win. I was very lucky. You beat Lions. Oh no, why has Lions got a capital I? I guess it's for his name. Oh no, and he lost to <laughs> he lost to Allen by not moving. Oops.
Let's reload just in case he's showing up. We can watch from here. Well, I'm happy you're doing well. I'm trying to remember what you sent me the other day. What was the attachment you sent me the other day? You were telling me about... Oh my god, I can't remember. I did check it out. I was at school when I was checking it out. I'm just trying to recall... what it was. Short of bringing up Facebook Messenger on my, uh, on my, on my PC. In fact, I didn't close it now that I think about it because I wanted to pursue it further. Oh, maybe I did restart my phone, so that closed it. Yes, the subtitle. Unfortunately, it does not work on the French bishop's chess cast with subtitles. Yes. That was correct. I needed to forward this. That's why I didn't close it at the time. I needed to forward it to Rogan. Really, Rogan is the one to message with this. I have to forward that to Rogan and see if I can find out what the difference is. And that's in which playlist? Is it Spotify? Yep. That was Spotify. Figures this way. Said. Yes, Spotify. I've not used the subtitle feature that often. So that's on the main page of, uh, and I wanted to check out the chess study podcast for myself in order to check the, uh, the properties that I'm missing on that one. Silovi. Okay. So I think I found. <laughs> oh, that's true. That's true. Okay, so is it the subtitle, the captions, subtitles in Swedish? Yes. That is indeed. Now I understand what it is that it does. The, the, the uh, captions. Subtext, caption, subtitle. Not a subtitle as in a, uh, a lesser title of a book, but a subtitle as in exactly. This doesn't look good for, uh, for a white here. This knight is supremely strong. Does he have time to take, take, and get back? I don't think he does. Or is there a perpetual check? Interesting. So I'm wondering if that is a Spotify chess cast special. In other words, oh no, is he getting something? I would probably play, I probably would have played king to d4.
Still, I would have given some checks with the hope of getting my rook out with check. But this check, in reply to this check, looked fatal. Yep, it is fatal. Yuck. This is fatal, folks. He's holding out. Crazy that he drew that. The awkward move was to place the pawn on G2. He had everything going for him up until, I think, uh, putting the pawn on g2, because then there were some random stalemating possibilities. But, I mean, this is totally winning for black. There's absolutely no reason why black should not have won that. Big Ben escapes. So in this particular position, I probably would have pushed the pawn, which is not guarded by the king. Honestly. But now that it's on the same uh, file as the king, we have to worry about it getting taken with check and driving our king back. So in this particular position, he can just fly up because it's going to be made after king to, king to f3 if the pawn is taken. It's just made. Game over. I also considered, at worst, rook to c2, and that should also lead to a decisive outcome. So short on time, he has a whole minute left. I don't understand what he thought he was doing. Nam Chidin, we have to show him some respect. Are you a French defense player? Oh, wow. I'm not sure what is going on here. Is he playing the cow opening? Mm -hmm. So now that we have our hook, I believe we're going for it. Yes, we're going for it. Now that we have our hook, we're in. Takes, takes check. Poor by that he can't win any games. <laughs> that is true. All right, now I'm very tempted to do this. How bad can it be? And who do I think? Who do you think you are? Let's just go for it. Why not? I am getting three pawns for my pizza. It looks very entertaining. At the very least, it looks entertaining.
Fair enough. He's definitely got me here. Takes, takes, takes. I think we have to play very energetically regardless. <coughs> so now do we want to play that way or that way? Yes, he stopped me. I only have two pawns for the piece. As it turns out. Check. That's Rook and Pawn for two minor pieces. We do need to give him a little bit of a checkup, as it turns out. Just trying to get our stuff moving. And the winner is I'm pretty certain that the winner is the outside pass pawn. I do need to keep him busy. I see we have a very young opponent here. So I managed to climb into second place thanks to a win over Namjadin. But didn't Namjadin, oh he drew the game that he should have won. <coughs> the Rook and Pawn ending. Definitely the uh, end game is a weakness for Namjadin. 
not a bad tournament 25 players overall very good um, we need two let's uh, head over to the arena tournaments before the thematic we need two more h4s I believe and four more A4s, but we're definitely going to get our... our H4s in. And now for something completely different. D5. Let's just keep, keep up with the Joneses. Norton update for drivers. Nicely done. Let's just make sure of what we need here is white before we get into another game. As long as that blue bar is up, I know we haven't been paired. We definitely need two more H4s ultimately, and then we're going to be at 180 of each. Alright, one of two. Can I? Play the London. This is an improved London. An improved Jababa London. I don't know if it is. But we'll find out. Well, that was quite helpful of him. What? going back here we have uh, 180 G fours and it looks like we're about to have 180 H fours hard to believe And the move that usually crushes black in this position is knight to b5, but it's not. No longer the move.
and we want to simplify probably a mistake on my part Am I lagging? No. <coughs> All right. So for the moment of truth, we're going to get in our GTO, ladies and gentlemen. Norton Driver Update. I like the idea of the Norton Driver Update. It's a reputable company. This is our last H4. And how do I want to deal with this? We're going to play it this way. Oh no. All right, you got me. That much is true. What? Oh no, <laughs> I fell for a minute. <laughs> that ruins my Kados opening uh, uh, statistics now. Now I'm still at 62%, but we are at 180 in both, so we need a few A4s before we have to go. <clears throat> Did we just get three whites in a row? That just seems strange. And... Where are you going, sir? Oh no. <laughs> I went from winning to losing. I went from winning to losing with Queen D2. All I had to do was move my king over. He had nothing and I was up a pizza.
Is this a tro is this a problem? Oh no. It is a problem. Fortunately for me, it's not that much of a problem. Well, it is a problem, considering that he had rook takes. Rook takes d1 was better. I could have changed my pre-move. So we're going for number two in the A4 department. And we're just going to play a queen's gambit. Down a tempi. Yeah, yeah. We have to actually threaten to threaten. So far, A4 cutting it nicely. How many more A4s will we get in? Will we get one more A4 in? We will. We're at 160, 179 on the A4 department. Oops. Now we're playing a very bad Alakine defense. A very bad Alakine defense. <laughs> Let's just keep on attacking, for what it's worth. Yeah, he does have queen h5 and queen h3. For what it's worth, it's awkward.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought he had. I thought I had the back rank, mate. But the first check wins. Say la vie. Congratulations, everyone. That was a very good move on my opponent's part. I thought I had the back rank, mate. But he's taking on F1 with a check. What a horrible thought. I didn't think he could move his ruck. I had a hallucination. So we're at 179 on the A4 department. And it's 558. We will finish this GTO later. We are going to raid GM Tom. Yes, he is a Grandmaster. I'm not sure who GM Tom is. It looks like a very young Tom Wedberg. And we will uh, close up shop here. Thank you everyone for being here. Cheers and ciao. Once again, thanks to Chess Informant and the volume that I enjoy the most. Whoops. And if you have not yet subscribed on YouTube, please do. It helps support the stream immensely. Absolutely and utterly immensely it is free and you may contribute to the stream Pegasus way said see you we're working hard cheers and ciao thanks everyone bye for now kingslayer sloan